Oh, I have to pay respects to that for my daily drop. We're going in. I got ate by a planet. Yeah, I did. This is probably some nasty, like, methane ocean or something. We back, boys. We back. Boop. Nice. Ah, great. What am I doing here? These are like hurricanes? Oh, a scroll. This is it. We've finished building the final orbital probe cannon module and are ready to send it into orbit around Giant's Deep for assembly. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work. I have given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where many other attempts have not. If I know my brother, Avans, and his spouse will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible, I'm worried the cannon would break under the stress. I propose we give Avans and Mello a slightly lower maximum power setting for the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. Are you going gelatinous on us, love? I'm delighted by your words, but they're atypical for you. If I'm ever half as gooey as Mallow and Avans behave together, Daz, you may launch me from the orbital probe cannon. Our next step will be to send Privet up to the orbital probe cannon to install the probe tracking system. Okay. Okay. Oh, are these supposed to go up? Oh, no, they aren't. Weird. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go to the other sides here. What just happened? Did I just get blasted into space? What the deuce? Wait, oh, what is this? Why are these things on now? Yo, look at the... Sh yeah, we're definitely on the planet again. The ship is orbiting us. Um, I think that's everything here. Oh, God. Why did you do that? Oh, oh, there's stuff down here, too? This area is so weird. I love it. Wait, what? This is on Brittle Hollow? Where is this? Oh, it's in the dome! We haven't been in here yet. Um, man, we really gotta find a way to this dome. Okay, that's interesting. Look at that. That's the hurricanes from the area we're in, or the tornadoes. Oh, this is a huge gravity down. Okay, I think I'm going to have to die. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to get to my ship. Yeah, I think I'm stuck here. Whoops. 
I missed the text reader? No, no, I, when you're in the projections, you can't do anything there. Whoa. That's the core? What is that? So many questions. Um. Okay, uh, I think we need to die. Yeah. Don't know how I'm gonna die. The projection also has text to read? I think we already read it. Maybe not. You missed reading the tablet that you used to do the projection. Do we have a tablet reader though? We need, we need an actual tablet reader. This is a scroll reader over here. This isn't a tablet reader. So if there was a tablet reader, let me go, let me go take a look. Maybe I missed that. God, okay, these little gravity pads are actually getting pretty annoying. I'm trying to jet around the area, but it keeps locking me to the pads. Oh, there's a tablet reader here. Great, there's totally one right there. Kanoi, Daz and I were lifting the orbital cannon components into orbit for assembly and somehow sank down one beneath the current. Kanoi, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. Kasama convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon using my other cannon parts, but we're very curious how that happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of the giant's deep here at Brittle Hollow Southern Observatory. I think it reveals how an object might sink below the current. I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. The trailhead starts at the Brittle Hollow's equator. I have bad news, Abens. Yaro says there was a problem with the proposed power source for the orbital cannon. Uh, won't be asked. Oh, we already read this. Yeah, we already read this. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Oh, there's the tornadoes. Let's see. Do I have anything else I can do here? Look at the symbols on the stone and the stone tablet on the left. Well, yeah, these, these, this is for the control module. Uh-oh. Is it going to send me to space here in a second? I think it might. Yeah, here's the control module up in space. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh. Wait, I can't move. Do we have to just move out? There we are. Oh, I'm in space again! I feel a little critical. Where's my ship? Is my ship out here somewhere? Oh, oh, whoa! Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, you get back here! No! Ah! Oh, God. Do I want to know what that is? There's definitely something down there. That was rude. Yeah, this island is like bouncing up and down in this area. Can I get onto this this treed area on the top? Is this a different island? No, I don't think so. Unidentified signal nearby. Oh, is one of the rock pieces here? What the hell? Nice, it's you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is the doozy, isn't it? Hey, so don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep dying repeatedly. I don't know, it's pretty weird. What about you? Have you died lately or is it just me? <laughs> no, it's me too. We're in a time loop. Time has been behaving unusual lately. Yeah, time loop makes sense. Cool. You're taking this pretty well. Hey, right back at you. Personally, I like new experiences, and I've never been in a time loop before. I mean, I don't think I've been in a time loop before this one. Looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell this time's gone all weird. I tried radioing Hornfells and asking if they died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. Even if I tell Hornfells about the time loop, they never remembered. remember by the next one. They don't realize anything is different. 
here's another weird one for you. Every time I die, all my memories from that loop replay back to me. I'm pretty sure that's related to this big stone Nomai statue I found at one of the other islands. Oh, I was looking at it and the statue opened its eyes and started glowing. It replayed my memories like it's seen through my own eyes, just like what happens each time I die. That happened to me with the statue at the museum. You too, huh? And the Nomai statues must have something to do with why we're the only ones aware of the time loop. So no glowing statue, no time loop awareness. I think that's going to be my leading theory, but if you find anything new about the statues of time loop, let me know, okay? I'll be here. Anyway, that's what's new with me. Uh, but hey, this is your first solo voyage, kind of. Let's talk about you, you know. I found something. What'd you find? I found what happened to the orbital probe cannon. Whoa, that, the, that's the cannon breaking apart at the start of each loop, for real? Did you figure out why? Too much power. It's kind of scary how much that sounds like something Slater Feldspar would do. I'm pretty surprised the Nomai built something that actually broke. Come to think of it, though, broke might be the wrong word, because it looks like the orbital probe cannon is still firing successfully at the beginning of each time loop. There we go. Hmm. That's ghost matter. I don't want to do that. Have you ever watched a cyclone for so long it started to hypnotize you? I'm telling you, they'll put a trance if you stare at them for long enough. Found something? I don't know. What are you doing out here? Well, what are any of us doing, really? Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm out here exploring our solar system, same as you. But I'll tell you what, other space, outer space really gives you room to think. It's quiet and peaceful out here. I mean, it's usually quiet and peaceful. Sometimes a cyclone comes by and lifts my little island paradise clean out of the water. Then, less peaceful. <laughs> what should I explore here? At the start of every time loop, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky at the start of every loop. Something must be happening up there in orbit. Yeah. What else? What else? Have you been to the Statue Island? That's what I've been calling it, seeing as it's an island where I found the glowing Nomai statues. Get it? I was on the beach of Statue Island when the whole glowy business happened, by the way. I give it a solid 7 out of 10 on the Gabber Relaxation Stale. If you like checking out Statue Island, it's the one with two islands connected by a natural rock arch. Ooh. What's up with this planet? I know, right? Oh, you meant, like, tell you about it. I gotcha. Well, Giant's Deep is massive and mostly water. No surprises there. There's a strong current a ways beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. I tried everything I could think to get past that current, and neither idea worked. I've counted four islands, including this one. There's also one with the Nomai statue I saw on the beach. The cyclones are hard to miss. Little tip, if you get picked up by one, try to land in water. Less likely to kill you. Where's your ship? That's a good question. It's definitely on this planet somewhere. I mean, a cyclone came by and tossed it into space, I guess. That would be pretty nuts. I hope it's not lonely. Okay. Let's see if we can see one of the other islands from the top here. Yeah, I like this guy too, Wanding. He seems like a good dude. Very chill, brother. Nice little fireplace. Oh. Hey, nice. Oh, there seems to be a lot of gravity here. Yeah, like... Man, I can't go anywhere. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, looks like we're going for a ride, boys! There's the island we know about. Where's, where's, let's see if we can see the other islands. Ah, must be on the other side of the planet. Oh god. Oh god. Splorch. Oh, 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 oh. Oof. Okay. Um. So we're still around the equator right now. Oh, can we swim into this and get shot up? That'd be kind of fun. Looks like we can. We're doing it live. Is it going away from me? Oh, I think it's going away from me. What a rude.
Mm -hmm. Oh no, I guess we can't actually go in them ourselves. Maybe you have to be on the island so they get shot up. That or it's going just fast enough away from me for me to not be able to get to it, which is also a possibility. What was that? Oh, shit. Shoot. Did the sun just... I feel like we got a lot done that life. I feel like there was some serious progress there. Let's see. I hope. Hey, Limping Biscuits. How are you today, bud? There it is. I really want to get into that observatory. Because then maybe we could learn how to get past the current, and then we can go back to that other island. I love how much there is to do in this game. Like, any, there, we can go anywhere, and there'd be stuff to do right now. Mmm. Nice. Haven't found the other modules yet. Found the construction yard. Haven't been into the depths. Found Gabbro's Island. But we haven't found Statue Island. Okay. A lot of good progress. Um, I'm going to go back to Brittle and see if we can find a way into that observatory. That's kind of my main goal right now. Let's see what we can do with that. Let's see what we can do with that. It said that we can get it from the equi- Oh god. Oh god. Oh shit. <clears throat> Shoot. Okay, we gotta repair this. There we go. There's a landing camera? Wait a second. How do I activate the landing camera? See, lift off landing camera. Oh, dude! Oh, that's so cool! I didn't realize this was here. Badass! Look at that! How fun! Awesome. Okay. Why don't I read basic UI stuff? I mean, I guess it's not as fun, but whatever. Okay, uh, fuel. Alright, so this here. Am I stuck here? Right, here we go. Uh, this thing we're next to. This. This is some kind of cannon that summons a ship that we can then fly in. But I think this has to do with that moon. Oh, God. Um, so we don't necessarily want to do that right now. We need to find a way into the South Pole. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to leave this stuff later. What is this? The crossroads. Let's go to the crossroads. I don't know the exact name of the place we're trying to get to. I think it's called the observatory, so maybe we'll look for that. We're going sorta of south, more like kind of a southwestish. Here we go. Where are the crossroads? So they were this way. There's something. What is that? This looks crossroady. Gravity cannon.
Gravity Crystal Workshop. Now I want to see what that is. Have you been here before? Oh, I think this is where we came in. This is on the surface, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Yeah, okay, this is the three buildings on the surface. Cool. Now, have we gotten everything here? Oh, there's ghost stuff over here. Okay. Let me make sure we've gotten everything here. A little fire. The journey from here to the South Pole has been, um, I'm going with Harrowing because of the meteors, but hey, at least I made it here unconcussed and not on fire. There's some old nomad path that starts across my campsite inside the room building with trees growing out of it. Okay. Okay, so this is the gravity workshop, so we know now we know exactly what this is. Let's go back down. Maybe we can find some more landmarks. Use the probe to see through ghost matter. Good call. Next time we get to areas that have that, we'll do that. I'm not going to go back down now, but yeah, next time. That's a good call. Can I just fall here? I think I can. Yeah, good. Ooh. Well, this was that was deeply unpleasant. I made it this far, though. Guess that, that's the part to focus on, and now how I'll eventually have to get back up that path. But now, wow, this place sure is interesting. Looks like the Hanging City is north from here, and east is a gravity cannon. I definitely want to see that. Another thing, I'm detecting oxygen from somewhere below, which is good since I used up a lot of my supplies screaming during the trip down from the surface. As soon as I stop dry heaving, I'm going to head further down below so I can refill my tank. Oh, okay. So Banjo Bro is down here. Yeah, here's this guy. What's up, dude? Oh, you launched. That's great for you. I guess it means I've been out here a while. What are you doing here? We've already talked to this guy before. This is the guy that's afraid of space. Um, okay. I learned something. I found a my escape pod in Brittle Hollow. Okay. Where'd the escape pod launch from? It's an amazing discovery. I saw the Hanging City. This is new. Was it amazing? Was it beautiful? Was it scary? The Hanging City is where the Nomai settled permanently on Brittle Hollow. It was their most advanced settlement here. Why they chose to build their most advanced settlement close to a black hole is beyond me. Maybe they needed the black hole for something? Interesting. Alright, so this goes up from... The black hole. Okay, let's not go that way. Where does this go? Aha, the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Now, this is a place we went to a little bit earlier, but I think... Are we going north or south right now? We are going south. Uh-oh. I guess it doesn't matter. Well, sort of. South is more that way. Hmm. Hmm. We've been here before. See what's this way. Okay, this is up at the tower. The southern south five hundred fifty meters. Okay, this is where we want to go. We want to go to the observatory. Uh, that looks like it's not going anywhere. What about... Th Neither of those look like they're going anywhere. What is, what is this? Are you going to shoot me to the other one? Dunk. Um... Why am I here? Oh!
Uh... Dude, if this is the right way, I'm going to be so happy. Oh my god, this might be the right way. Ghost matter! No! Um. Oh! Okay. There was a ledge I could have gone on? Well, we'll try to get back. I felt like that was the right way. That look, that look, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. There we go. Was that the right way? That's probably the right way, wasn't it? Oh, man. Go. Is that the probe in the sky? I don't think so. Hmm. And... Splorch! I'm playing too much Void Bastards. Okay. Now we are here. We are in the sky place. Let's go this way. Fuel back up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oops. What's this? Oh. Oh. Okay. That is exactly where I want to go. Uh oh. Uh. Oh, cool. And we're right back to this ledge system. Oh, great. Okay. Okay. So we just found a much faster way to get back here. Excellent. Um. What is this? Wait, how is this going to work? I'm just going to drop into the black hole. Oh, God. Mistakes. There we go. Nice, nice. All right, all right. Um. Oh, dude, look at this. Oh, the crystals are broken. Are we okay? Are we good? Oh my Jesus. <laughs> That's it, right there. Oh my god, how do I get up there? Yes! There it is. Okay. Can I open the door from this side? <laughs> can I unlock it? Oh my god, maybe I can. Ooh! Okay, we gotta take super advantage of this right now. Whew. 
Am I going to finish Doki Doki? Yes, after lunch. Kanoi, Daz and I were lifting the orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly and somehow sank down beneath the current. Yes, we know about this. Okay. It's really interesting trying to recreate the phenomenon myself using cannon parts. Uh, constructed a model of gravity deeper, but it'll have a southern observatory. Reveals how the object might sink. Uh, if I visit the observatory, would you explain? Yes. Okay, so this, we are, we've already read that. And it's basically, he's going to explain to the person how to get below. And let's see if this is the explanation. Because these look like the tornadoes on the surface of that planet. Kasava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant's Deep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit. One component was pushed down past the current, usually preventing anything from sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. Most cyclones in Giant's Deep rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones Kasava typically uses to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the water. Can only show me your handiwork. I'm intrigued by the secondary type of cyclone, but it was really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant's Deep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. <laughs> okay. So some of them, you can see, are this one's spinning like this. But then this guy is spinning the other direction. So we have to find one of the proper cyclones and fly our ship into it. Yeah. Yeah. The Steeb. Oh, cool, man. I don't even know what that is. What is that? Let's check it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got more than a couple things to look at here. We gotta hurry before that sun goes nova. We how should our methods change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe? We know what we know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon. So what if we try to find the eye visually instead of sending out a probe? We need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in the orbit around the celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Giant Steep would be a good choice. It's furthest away from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch, and it's mo moonless, except when the quantum moon is visiting. Oh, Miles' idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with Raimi and Pi about the technology they're developing? As we couldn't find the eye signal using the different devices built for this exact purpose, we should discontinue this search method. Guess let's build the cannon in orbit around Giant's Deep. Yeah, okay, so it's, he said, I'm sorry, earlier I said let's not send out, let's send out a probe is what they said. Okay. 